What is going on, everybody? My name is Pete, and you guys are watching Paid to Drive and Pay to Drive Vlogs. Hope you guys are doing fantastic out there. If you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you, my friends, are in the right place to stay up to date with what's going on in the gig economy. So get started right now for free. Hit that red subscribe button down below. Turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button down below. Just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. In fact, leave a comment right now saying liked just so I know you did it. And let's jump into it. From Quiet Breeze has sent an email. Rating dropping for no fault of mine. How many times have we heard something like this? But listen, listen what happened here. So today I arrived at my drop off area 10 to 12 minutes before time and could not get into the community gate because two big work trucks were in front of me trying to get in. I contacted the customer and DoorDash support. The customer had to walk up to the gate and get his food because the two trucks were blocking the entrance. This late drop off was not my fault. I'm fed up with getting negative uh, on time ratings due to no fault of mine. This is the third time of a drop off being late at no fault of mine and my on time rating has dropped. DoorDash support is always sending emails explaining the, uh, the on time rating system, never answering my question about why it keeps dropping and not fixing my rating. My issues are within the on time rating section, which is explained in the DoorDash information, but they're still faulting me and haven't fixed my rating since the first two issues in February. Now this happened again today. What can I do about this? You can use my name, Quiet Breeze. Thanks, Pete, for all your help and great information. So before we get into the discussion with this, if you guys ever have any emails that you want sent in uh, to make a video on to get, you know, the, the whole audience's answer so you can look in the comments section, see the reason why we do it like that is so that we can just get a broad spectrum of people, you know, and I like that that everyone can come together in the chat or the comments, agree, disagree, give their own side of the story so that we have like a, a real idea from all parts of the country about how these situations are affecting drivers. So always email me at paid to drive stories at gmail.com. So when he says my issues are within the on time rating section, which is explained in the DoorDash information, but they're still faulting me and haven't fixed my rating since the first two issues in February. Now this happened again today. What can I do about this? The problem here, quiet breeze, uh, quiet breeze is it isn't your fault. You did everything you were supposed to do. You did. You got there on time. You couldn't get in because of the trucks. I've had situations like that, trying to get into a gated community, the truck or whatever can't pass security in front of you. You're backed up. It's a big freaking problem and it's not your fault, but DoorDash makes it your fault because they don't care because if you get deactivated, they're like, well, who cares? Let's hire five more people. That's, that's the problem here. And that's why I'm always trying to advocate for drivers because when the companies treat you unfairly. Other drivers need to hear about it so that they don't feel like they're alone in those situations, you know, because when I was doing this completely on my own, didn't know anybody, didn't even make YouTube videos. I felt like, uh, you know, like a lone wolf, like, you know, in an unknown world, you know? So whenever I would run into a problem, I didn't know if other people were experiencing it until I started talking with other drivers when I was picking up orders and stuff like that. In this particular situation, you did everything right. You contacted the customer. You let them know the situation that they had to come to the gate. You contacted DoorDash about it. They're supposed to notate your account that you called just like Grubhub does. Um, so, I mean, you handled everything right. So the on time rating needs to be adjusted from DoorDash's end. And because they have over a million drivers, they don't have the time or they don't maybe care about fixing your rating. So it's on them. It's not on you. I hope that sort of makes you feel better. So I want you to know that you did everything you could. Um, but um, if, if you end up having a situation where you get deactivated, I would fight it and still keep trying to contact them professionally. You never want to be threatening. You never want to be inappropriate because that will never help you. So in this particular situation, I say continue reaching out to them week to week. 
letting them know what the situation is, asking if you can speak to a higher up, a manager, a supervisor, anybody, you know, so that at least you can get some sort of closure because I understand how frustrating this is. I've been in plenty of situations. Just real quick, in either 2017 or 2018, I had to go and pick up an order uh, and drive it, God knows how many miles, with Grubhub. And like as I was approaching, it was uh, an office building, I get into the parking lot and it got canceled and I didn't get paid for it. And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, sure, I get to keep the food. That's nice. You know, I never will complain about free food. Um, but the thing that it gets annoying is when I called Grubhub and I asked to speak to somebody, I'm like, I don't get paid at all for this. I just used my gas to get a free meal that and sometimes the meal is maybe not something you like or maybe you can't eat it or whatever, you know, so. I totally understand the frustration when you do everything right and the company's kind of like, oh, oh, well, it's your problem, you know, because then they're like, well, you're not an employee. You're you're an independent contractor. So therefore, we're not going to really help you. You know, it's it's a frustrating thing, man. I totally I totally get it. I totally understand. And of course, if you ever have anything you want to share with me, a comment, a question, a topic, a story, an article, whatever it is. Be sure to send it to me at paid to drive stories at gmail.com. Also, for a quicker response, you guys can always reach out and message me through Patreon at patreon.com forward slash paid to drive. That link is in the description down below or in the pin top comment. And anyone who signs up as a patron as my way of saying thank you is I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos. And as you can see, there are all the names right here on your screen of our current patrons as of the current moment of this video being made. So huge shout outs to all of them. If you guys want to sign up, links are down below. As I mentioned, who's going to be the next patron? Maybe it will be you. And of course, I hope every single one of you out there is saving lots of money on your gas using the free gas app called Get Upside. The link is in the description down below. Just scroll down this page and click on the link that says Get the Free Gas App. It's very simple to use. It'll tell you how to install it on whatever kind of phone, tablet, or device that you have. And then from that point, all you got to do is go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description down below. Make sure to download it today. And finally, for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies, visit paidtodrivestore.com. That link is in the description, and you guessed it, the pin top comment down below. We've got lots of great new designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it on sale every day at paidtodrivestore.com. That link is in the description down below. And the pin top comment. And of course, if you made it to the end of this video, I'm extremely grateful for all of you. Let me know by leaving a comment in the chat or the comment section below saying end 100, E-N-D 100. Just lets me know you did it. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind it, hit that like button down below. Just lets me know you enjoyed the video and it lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. In fact, leave a comment right now saying liked, L-I-K-E-D, just so I know you did it. And until next time, get that money, get that honey. Keep hustling and keep bustling, and we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Logs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.